Hello YouTube, once again I'm with you and uh, I just got back from another meeting with the Mormons. And um, every time I have one of these uh, meetings with the Mormons, it's always I'm with the missionaries and they bring some random person from the congregation also to the meeting. So it's, there's different people usually every time. Sometimes I've been with the same person more than once, but they bring somebody from the congregation. And um, so I didn't pay much attention too much to the person that showed up this meeting. Um, just happens to be an older gentleman in his 60s. Um, I just thought, okay, another guy. But uh, apparently I've been talked about or something has been been made known because the person they brought today was a bigwig. Uh, this guy <laughs> has held some very high positions um, in the church and uh, is extremely knowledgeable about all of the things Mormon. So I was very pleased about that. I was like, finally, I got, a, you know, a real bullshit artist, you know? Um, so <laughs> pretty much this meeting, the Mormons said absolutely nothing. They stayed silent. And me and this guy um, swapped arguments and uh, he attempted to answer the questions that I had already posed to the other uh, uh, Mormons uh, missionaries. Um, so, because usually before when I would ask questions about the person that uh, uh, came to the congregation or that, that was from the congregation, the, the, the arguments were kind of like a battleship versus a, uh, a rowboat. And, um, but this guy was something different. Um, this was like battleship versus battleship. He was extremely knowledgeable. Um, he didn't just take it for granted. He had, uh, you know, his own positions and his own verifiable things. So during our arguments, when I would pose moral questions or scientific questions, he always had some type of an answer. Um, you know, if I asked, you know, like, how were the Lamanites, you know, building with cement when they didn't have cement back then? And he would, he would say, oh, have you seen Machu Picchu? There's a, they got this pyramid down in Mexico. It's made completely of uh, cement. It's not just stone and mortar like the rest of the pyramids, it's, a, it's completely 100% cement. They got cement all over the place. I'm like, I'm like, I didn't know about that. Can you please provide me a reference? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. So you, I would fire out an argument, either on a scientific basis or a moral basis, and he would fire back with his uh, answer, um, which they were answers, um, but they're unverified answers, because he's referencing stuff that I don't have access to. Um, one of the things in particular, when I, when I asked them, you know, when they, in 600 BC, when they got to the Americas and they uh, uh, saw horses and cows and all this stuff, we know horses and cows weren't there because they were brought over by the Spanish. And he said, oh, they were there because they, we know this because they've pulled horses and cows out of the Labar, the Labre, the tar pits down in California. I forget how to pronounce the damn thing. And I was like, I have... Never heard that. Can you please provide a reference? He says he has all of these references in his office at home, somewhere filed away, and he will get them for me. So when he brings those references to me, um, I'll try and get copies or something I'll write down, and I'll bring it back and post it uh, in a video so you guys can maybe help me out and maybe verify some of this stuff. Um, we went over a lot of material. Um, it was just me and him. Boom, 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 boom argument after argument after argument. Um, and I found it enjoyable because I was actually engaging in somebody who had answers. Um, are they good answers? We'll see. Um, but they were answers. It wasn't just a deer in the headlight look. So that was today's meeting. Um, and we, man, we talked about all kinds of stuff, moral implications. Um, I asked him, uh, I asked him, you know, about uh, uh, when Nephi killed uh, Laban, um, how that was okay because that's a violation of the Sixth Commandment. And uh, he said that it was okay because, number one, God told you to do it. And number two, that was part of Jewish law back then was that 
you could kill people under certain circumstances and it was it was okay so I said all right um, so apparently to him in, if God tells you to do something even if it's morally wrong you're supposed to do it which I don't agree with uh, but he does so and I even brought up the whole uh, um, I'm just following orders defense you know I, I talked about you know well the Nazis when they went to trial in Nuremberg said I was just following orders you can't send me to death for following orders and we said well, yeah we can because that was morally wrong um, and he said let's see what did he say oh he pointed out that yeah they did horrible atrocities against humanity but you know none of the other people involved in World War II on either side went to jail for committing war you know killing other human beings and I said yeah but I don't agree with war either so it depends on your stance with the whole is it okay to kill somebody thing I guess uh, but very engaging conversation um, I can't wait for the next meeting so he can bring me those uh, references to all of these uh, scientific things that I pointed out were not possible but he says that they were um, so that'll be a lot of fun uh, thanks for watching oh and one more thing if you guys have a question you want me to ask the missionaries or this guy or you have some scientific thing you want me to put forth um, I have no problem being a mediator and saying proposing this question to them as if you were really there so that you could get your answer or if there's something you know about Mormonism that you find weird or strange and you want it uh, explained please feel free to post a comment or PM me however you want um, or you can make a video of your own asking um, just make sure I know about it uh, whatever information you want to know about or you want to confirm whether something is actually done in the church or is not done in the church please feel free to comment thank you y'all know the name oh. Farrell fucking mama can't a damn thing can't